You're such an asshole. The clients and money just keeps rolling in at assholeconsulting.com. By the way, um, I did get a new batch of the uh, Asshole Consulting bumper stickers in. For those of you that sent me emails saying you wanted them, they will be in the mail here relatively soon. Uh, even though it's like been more than two months, so a lot of people are like, hey, send it in. Yeah, that's like the very, very, very last thing to do on the to-do list, but uh, they'll be in the mail later. Zach writes, please apply the Clary test to James Buchanan. He is widely considered to have been the single worst president the United States has ever had. Had he never married, he never had children. Is this remarkable? Let's take a look at him. James Buchanan Jr., 15th president of the United States, right before the Civil War. 1857 to 61, serving immediately prior to the American Civil War. He is the only president to remain a lifelong bachelor, member of the Democratic Party. He was the 17th United States Secretary of State and served the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. Born in Cap Grove, Pennsylvania, to parents of Ulster Scott's descent, he became a prominent lawyer in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, won election uh, to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives as a Federalist. In 1820, uh, Buchanan won election to the United States House of Representatives. All right, so he was born 1791, 20, he was 29. Do I do the math right? One election. When did he win election to the state representative? He's Mr. Russia. Give me a second. He was in office in 1814. So 14 plus 9... He was 23 years old when he decided to go into politics. All right, uh, then what did he do? <clears throat> God, he's just a career politician. He's a, do, do, I mean, I know he was a lawyer, uh, and in those days, that meant you came from wealth, so he's got a point against him there already. He did come from wealth. And if, I, I would like to look it up. Uh, let's go to early life, double check. Born in a log cabin. James, businessman, merchant, and farmer, and educated woman. Parents of da 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 Ba ba ba. Okay, so he did come from money. Does he have any real world working experience? Not really. <laughs> I know they didn't have the, quite the life expectancy back then that we do today, but at 23, like, I'm going to go tell other people what to do. You sound like uh, Nancy Pelosi. And I'm just looking at his resume here on the right side. He's just office, 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 office office until 1861. When did he die? In office. Well, I don't know. Oh, that's the early life. Let's go to his death. 1868. So his entire life was basically childhood, career politician, and then seven years of retirement. Um, yeah, he never did any. I mean, look, I, I appreciate the bachelor thing and all that, but Came from wealth, you get a point against you there. Did he major in stupid? See, that's the hard thing. Like, back in those days, any degree was a good degree. I'm going to give him a point, though, because this guy had no intention of working. None whatsoever. Uh, modern day, like if James Buchanan was alive today, he'd be like a Hillary Clinton, uh, a George Bush, uh, Nancy Pelosi, or Barack Obama. He would have thought, I'm too important. I'm going to go become president. And they had the fucking wealth and connections to do it. So... Came from wealth, stupid degree. Any real world working experience? No. Uh, and then what did he do up until he's just a career politician? This guy gets the worst score possible. He gets a four. Uh, yeah, this guy, and it's no surprise that maybe he is considered one of the worst uh, presidents ever. I don't know the history. I'm not going to go into it. But when you have someone that just had a name be pain be pampered ass life and the egotism to. Uh, 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 think that, oh, I'm just going to tell other people what to do at the age of 23. You're goddamn Betsy Hodges. Look her up. He's a spoiled little bitch from YZ, which is the rich part of the Twin Cities. And she said, I'm going to go tell it. Now she's our mayor. She's a little bit older than me. But if you look at her, just look at her track record. It's hilarious. It's like this person had, it's like, uh, what's his name? James Coburn out in uh, the United Kingdom or Scotland, wherever the fuck it is. Uh, none of these people... James Buchanan, one of them, had ever an intention to work or contribute anything to society, and they're pure egotists that want to rule. They want it. You want to talk about where evil resides? It's in people like people like this. And so, when you have no real working experience, no uh, rigor, no strife in life, you, you you just what do you think they're going to achieve when they get into positions of power? It's like Barack Obama. Nothing. 
Nothing really. I mean, you know, doubling the national debt, slowing economic growth, lower uh, lower labor force participation rate. Uh, you know, that's that's one of the better things to come out. I mean, he Obama at least was kind of a do nothing president. Thank God, sort of maybe. But Buchanan, yeah, I, it doesn't doubt. It doesn't surprise me uh, that this guy is considered one of the worst because, in hindsight, you know. Now that all of his political allies are gone, people say, oh, geez, yeah, thanks for kind of fucked up. He kind of fucked shit up. So. All right, that's it. You guys got questions? Assholeconsulting.com. I'd like to stick around and banner more, but I got to hit the gym and do shit. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.